Hey there, Survivor Edrake back where we look at the weapons we used in the 1.6 and 1.7 patch. Before I start, I want to give a shout out to the team behind the DayZ community offline mode. Developed by Aquinasaur, Danny Dog, and Jacob Mango. They also had some more help from other contributors to the project, and I will provide a link in the highlighted comment below so you can get more information about the mod itself. Without this mod, I cannot make these videos in the style I have chosen, so huge thanks to them and the continued updates to the system. Okay, let's check out the weapons we're going to look at. First, we have the pistol, the Colt 1911, which is based on the M1911. Then we have two shotguns, the Break Action BK-43, which is the LZH-43, and the Vega, which is actually the Sega-12. Next we have some two rifles, the Braze, which is based on the Brazier B97, over and under double rifle. And he asked to look at the repeater carbon, which is the classic rifle, the Winchester 1892. So time to visit the firing range and I start putting these weapons through their paces. First up, the Colt 1911, which is the M1911, or as its other name, the Colt Government. A weapon from the United States and has been in service since 1911. And is widely used as standard issue sidearm to the military up to 1986. Seen combat in numerous theatres such as World War I, II, Vietnam, and the Korean Wars. In Chernus, it comes in two variations the standard and the extremely rare engraved. Chambered in 0.45 ACP round, the weapon can be found in many towns and villages and needs a 7 round magazine or chamber a bullet one at a time. With a pistol flash sight, or a pistol suppressor, the only other options you can have. So let's some, send some rounds down the range. As you can see, it's a very capable pistol. And it's accurate with a kick to adjust to. It is limited by its 7 round capacity, and it does go through as quick when you know the weapon. Actually, with a suppressor, I find the recoil a lot yes, but it does suffer a bit of damage. Speaking of damage, killing effective can take 2 to 3 hits on the chest. Of course, with its limited capacity, this is an issue. And our volunteers in particular would prefer the rarer FX 45. A bit much larger 15 mag magazine capacity. On to the shotguns now, and first we have the BK 43, which is based on the LZH 43, which was used in World War II by the Soviet Union. As covered in the previous guide, there are a few types of swag the buck and the rifled, and also there is a new rubber swag, which can be used to disable a survivor. Surprisingly enough, none of the volunteers were keen to test this out, but we assured they do the job. Firing, we grind your two slugs into the breech, and then each chamber is fired separately. Naturally, this causes a lot of noise, and this has a very large spread, making this ex an excellent weapon when things get a bit too close for comfort. As you can see, it's not as bad as a backup, but only with two slugs. There's a lot of reloading which is needed. If needed, you can saw the front off to make it a, a backup weapon which can then be safely stored into your backpack. But I personally prefer a pistol as my arse choice weapon, even though it is a very satisfying gun to use. The next shotgun is the Viega, which is based on the Sega Dash 12, which is based on a basic Kalashnikov yielding, using a rotating bolt and it's gas operated. This particular shotgun has the most attachments Currently, and here they all are. We 
with three different magazine sizes. Five, seven, and a big 20 drum one. Also has a possibility of a back stock. And if that's not enough, we have three choices of scope. PSO-1, the Cobra, and the Yaris Night Scope. So we have to send some slugs down the range. As you can see, subtlety is not the strongest suit of any shotgun. And this is your typical widespread of slugs. Or you can use rifled to make them more continuous shot. Adding the stock does help control the weapon. They are a shotgun, so expect it to fight you every inch. So as you might expect, you have a 20 ton magazine, expected and not much of an issue. But you will attract more. So it's a good thing there is 20, drum, 20 shells in this drum. Of course, the arse party trick of this shotgun is full auto mode. With a single quick, you can go to full kill mode. But be warned, this is very ungainly and very hard to control. On to the two new rifles now. The Beaz comes first, or as it's proper known, the Beaz 95 from a German firearms manufacturer. And it's a hunting rifle popular in Europe, with its unique double barrel configuration. Chambered in .308 Winchester rounds, this is a quality rifle, so let's put it through its paces. With its unique yielding, it's an accurate rifle with a superb sound. Naturally, this can attract the attention of the infected. And this weapon is perfect at a 50 to 100 meter round range to put them down. Naturally, being a hunting rifle, you can add the hunting scope to it. Effective at 200 meters, so let's try it. A huge kick on this rifle means you have to just have read between each shot, meaning it's quite hard to keep track of your target. At this range, infected killing is deadly, as you might expect. And there's one lurking in the back. Perfect shooting from a volunteer. As you've seen in past guides, the hunting scope can be ranged way above 200 meters. So let's go back to our range at 500 meters. As you can see, it's hard to confirm a hit. But you can just see a little bird spurt, spurt here. But at this range, you need two shots to kill an infected. So against a survivor, this is not the idea of your own range choice. 
but you can hand get results. The last weapon on the list today, the repeater, which is the famous Winchester 1892 limited in .357 magnum round. A Eva weapon which saw service from 1892 to 1945 and was designed by John Browning. An iconic weapon which saw service in the Indian Wars and the Spanish-American War and there has been over a million made. With no attachments, he has to roll the rifle up to its 7 round maximum and then send a few rounds down. Every shot needs to cycle the chamber and is a very satisfying weapon to use. Infected killing though, it can be cumbersome to chamber each round, but as you can see, there's more than enough damage to deal with them. And there we have another weapon guide wrapped up. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.